want to get this done, let's start your phone here. Maybe it's a uh, all right, so this is called the remainder theorem. Um, basically, what we did yesterday, synthetic division, can be used to find the value of a function. Specifically, if you remember Algebra 1, maybe geometry, I don't think so. Do you remember given like f of 2 where you put 2 back in for x? Does that ring a bell? Okay, it, it will because I know I did it in, uh, you did it in early, early Algebra 1. So that was about uh, over two years ago. What we're doing here is we're focusing on the remainder. Okay, so yesterday we got remainder of zero a couple times. We got remainders of weird numbers. So today we're going to focus on the remainder and it's almost just a shortcut and honestly just, do you remember what the ne what theorem means? It's just kind of like a definition that you can prove. Prove meaning the proofs. Remember that? Mm. Not going to do it, but that's just what it means. So this is about the remainder in long division and synthetic division. Um, it is super easy, and I think you're going to like it. Okay, your homework is um, a link, a worksheet that I hopefully will get, give you in about 10 minutes, and you should finish before you leave. Okay. It's a lot of review on what we did yesterday and a little something new, okay? Um, I'm just going to give you a problem and you'll see it's just that easy, okay? So f of x equals 3x to the fourth minus 2x to the third plus 5x plus 2. There were so many questions with F of X on the PSAT, and I don't know how to do that. Okay, it, it's, not, it's not about that. Let me just give you a piece of uh, info. Whenever you see the F of X, all that means is that it is a function. What does that mean? If you graph something on a coordinate plane, do you remember the, the vertical line test? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all it is. That means it's a function. That's it. So you it's, graph it? Um, not necessarily. It's just, it's kind of like fancy math. They give that to you just to make it look harder. It's not. Um, so it's like, how do you tell? If it's, I, really, this is the same thing as y equals. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, so, so if we're like doing this, like, is, is it like basically like, like what we did like yesterday? With we're not doing any division today. None. Yeah, this um, I will show you where it comes from, but you're not going to do any division. Um, all right, quick review. How many terms do we have here? Four. four. What is the degree? Four. Highest degree is four. Um, yes or no? Is this a monomial? No. Binomial? No. Trinomial? No. Therefore, it is just a polynomial, right? Polynomial meaning many. Okay, quick review. Um, so we know this is a function. I'm going to give you the directions. Find f of 2. Gotcha. Remember that one? Oh, I do remember that. What you're going to do is you're going to take this 2, which I'm giving you, okay? You're going to take this 2, and you're going to put it in where? X. You're actually substituting. Therefore, we are doing synthetic substitution, okay? Um, and you're going to find a value, and I want you all to do that now, okay? And then I'll show you where it's coming from, okay? You will get a two-digit number, I believe. No, no, no. Uh -uh. No. I'm giving you that, too. Yeah. I want you to try, because that's order of operations. You've done that for sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade. Do your best, and I'll show you. Exponents go first, remember. Uh, 
Uh, should we get less than 50? Did I got it? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Emma? What'd you get? 44. Now, what age do I I'm just gonna say 44 there when I said it. Okay, I, I'm not, that's, kind of, that's kind of silly. Uh, answer is 44. All right, you're gonna do the math. This is where calculators come in handy. Thank you. Uh, order of operations, you're gonna do the exponents first. Two to the fourth is 16, 16 times three, um, and so forth. Yeah, so your answer is 44. Just caution. Um, what? Just order of operations. Um, I got the same answer yep. too, but um, I can't even like do my. I can't always do math in my head. No, that's calculators are fine. We're algebra two. We don't have time to do a lot of this in our head. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so it goes from four three to one, like exponents. We all have the zeros or anything. Okay, no, because they're all accounted for. X to the fourth, X to the third. Uh, actually, the X squared is not there, but that we're not doing that right now. Okay. You're just plugging in two in for X. Okay. And yes, it is just that easy. Okay. And I'm going to show you a different way um, where this comes from. I did some wrong. Was that? Do you have a calculator? Yeah. Try it in a calculator. All right. Now, you have a choice. Um, to write this down or not, okay? But I want you to show why is this called synthetic substitution, okay? It's a little different. Um, look where I'm putting that too. Does that look familiar yes from yesterday? All right, so Emma, this is where this comes in, okay? I'm going to call on you. Let's do our synthetic division. So you help me with my coefficients. So I'm going to write three. What's next? Negative, Negative two. Zero. Good, good, good. Why am I doing a zero? Good. What's next? Five, Five and two. two. Okay, I'm going to just with my yellow pen, I'm going to write just so you can, I think it shows up better. Yeah. X to the third. X squared is missing. X and then our number. That is really yellow. It is. Kind of hurt. I, I'm not sure I'll use this again. Put that away. Um, okay, let me scoot this up. Now let's do synthetic division. Okay, where did this two come from? That two right there. Okay, all right, so bring the three down. Let's do this together and let's just review synthetic division also. What do I do with this three? Which is what? Six. Now we're going to add negative two, positive six, and you get four. Four times two? Eight. Add zero plus eight. You get eight. Eight times two? Sixteen. Five plus sixteen is? Twenty-one. Twenty-one times two? Forty-two. And I'm going to box this because I know this is my remainder. And what do we get? What do you notice? It's the same number. Therefore, do you see why it's called synthetic substitution? What would y'all rather do? Plugging it in or doing synthetic division? Plug it in. Um, so I have a question. And so when you're doing like the synthetic like substitution, when you're like trying to like find like the function, um, do you like not like um plug in like terms like the um x squared all the way down to like the number like that all well let's do another one and you're you're i think you're going to answer the question all right so look at number two uh again this f of x is just a fancy way of saying y equals all right don't let that scare you it also means it is a function that's it uh, how many terms do we have here? Three. Three. Uh, what's the highest degree? Two. Two. Uh, 
We have three terms, therefore it is called a binomial. Yes, all right, here's another question. If I graph this, what is it called? The parabola. Okay, this is a parabola because it's a quadratic function. This is chapter four, one chapter ago. What does this negative three to do it? Flips it, also called a reflection, okay? See, you're so smart. All right, directions. Find f of negative three. Will you always give us like the f? Oh, I have to. Oh, okay. Yes. Aren't negative squares positive? Because when you square negative three, wouldn't it be? Okay. Now be careful. That, yes, negative 3 squared is positive 9. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. No, because the 9 is positive. The positive is positive. Get a negative number? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what'd you get, Zach? Negative 38. Who else got negative 38? Good. Um, okay. So, one of your questions on your homework is this number here. Has anybody figured out where this comes from? The first number? Negative 30. Um, well, see, I'll let you figure that out. You, you know it. Uh, okay, so if I said f of negative 3, if you did synthetic division, it would be this number here, right? Okay, so why don't we do that real quick, and then I'll let you start your homework, and hopefully you'll be done. So let's do negative 3 up here. Um, let's do the coefficients, negative 3, 5, and 4. I have them all. Um, no, because they're all accounted for. X squared. What's that? Oh, yeah. I won't use yellow. So I have X squared, X, and number. Is that what you want? Yeah. All right, so let's bring down negative 3. Um, all right, so let's multiply. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. 5 plus 9 is 14. 14 times 3 is negative 42. Okay. Um, negative 42 times negative 3 is positive. No, I've done something wrong. You forgot to take care of the 14. Yeah. 14, there we go. Negative 42, okay. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're going to add 4, negative 42, and you'll get negative 38. No, no, I'm just showing you. Yeah, that's where it comes from. Yes, ma'am. So where do you get the F of... You're given that. You said that we have to find, figure out that number for one of the problems. Okay, so I think number one on your homework is, well, you know what? Open it. It's on LMS. It's a, a link on uh, today's homework. In fact, I will put it on my. It's easier if I show you. My iPad.